So guys, I'm about to show you how you can fully optimize your Windows PC for gaming with a bunch of simple tweaks which I'm going to show you right now. We're going to disable basically all the debloat of our PC, optimize our CPU, then we also gotta optimize our GPU and make our input devices more responsive. So hit that subscribe button and without wasting any time let's dive in the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So now go to my website I give link in description and download the Windows Optimization Pack from here. So first open this up guys. From here you have the following link which you're going to copy. Then you're gonna go into a browser. Paste it in there. And it should look exactly like this here. First of all here now the Windows 10 to bloater, which is simply gonna click under code. And then you can actually download it straight up here from the website. It should then look exactly like this here guys. And here now we have a few different files. But what we actually want to do is click on a Windows the bloater 10. Right click onto it and run it with PowerShell. You should then see after few seconds it's going to open up. And what we can do from here guys is basically remove all the blow clear off our windows. Which is basically stuff like additional applications icons which are on the task power or in the windows menu itself built-in ads which are also a huge part of windows actually once you're going to take a look at the right side you know those all like ads basically all of these processes running in the background are super hard recommended so therefore what you can do in the first is place click under customized block list and they can go through it step by step and hand pick exactly which ones you want to disable but what we want to do instead guys is just simply click under remove all bloodware going to click onto it once and then you can let it run here. basically in the background and not actually remove a whole bunch of stuff from my pc something like suggestions on the start menu then we have something like people i can in tasper you can see just simply off these processes which you never really utilize but they're still prebuilt on your winner's pc slowing it down next up we also have a few additional steps here something like cortana which is this voice assistant nobody really uses it so that i'm going to click on disable and it's going to actually disable cortana from my pc and then you can see on the top bar guys now cortana has been disabled super easy like that as well then we can also fully uninstall actually one drive which is this cloud servers which we can also just like that here uninstall real quick and now you can see one drive has been successfully uninstalled which is amazing and then finally what we want to do guys is click on the disabled elementary task we're going to click onto it once and those additional processes which are also now being disabled in the background something like your location tracking you know all of these processes were basically windows is just collecting data from your pc and sending it to microsoft we want to avoid this guy so there now the tormentary has been disabled and we can close this now and we're done with the first step just let me click onto it here under the x and we're good to go now we actually going to continue with the second one guys which is gonna be a cpu on part two i'm going to explain this real quick You're basically just again. gonna copy the following link going to browse up paste it in there real quick and now we're gonna get redirected to the next side which is gonna be coder back which is something gotta scroll down a little bit guys and this is exactly a tool which we're gonna be using cpu on park actually also make sure to click here actually under get quick cpu because we want to go down here and search for the latest version of this specific tool and click on the download and once you get it done on your pc it should look exactly like this year and what it basically does is guys every cpu has enabled course and part course what you want to make sure in the first place is go guys. in assist and power plan and make sure to select the ultimate performance plan yeah if you don't have it i'm gonna put right on your on screen actually a comment and the comment is also gonna be in the description below we just simply have to go into a cm real quick run it as administrator and paste it in there and then you will find this ultimate performance mode this is the one which you actually want to select for guys. the best performance and then you gotta go under core parking index and then you gotta put it all the way to right side. to unpark make sure you click first of all under unpark all and then under apply then you're gonna close this and we continue and as a quick extra tip guys if you're struggling with ping and all of your favorite games you can actually try out the geo booster for absolutely free guys the link is gonna be in description you can basically select one of your favorite competitive games just simply connect to it the gps is gonna make sure that you have the lowest possible ping. guys you can see i have only 10 milliseconds latency which is insane it's going to show you directly the connection between your pc and the router and then finally also your router and the actual game server gps has continuously gonna look for the best server in your near guys to provide you with the least amount of ping it is mentioned try it out for absolutely with the free. link in description next up now guys we have the msi mode utility you're going to open this up again copy the following link and you gotta post it in here real quick and for some reason you can really only get this tool of reddit you don't have to be locked in or anything guys and there we have it, the msi mode on gpus they just simply gonna scroll down make sure to open this app and that we should now have here actually our msi utility link from where you can get it directly and once you get it on your pc this is exactly how it should look like what you want to make sure in here guys is basically put your gpu to msi mode 
This has nothing to do with the brand. This has only to do with the communication time between your GPU and your CPU. And you want to make sure to actually find your GPU. And here, which for me is the NVIDIA GeForce Turex 40 70 Ti, which you can select here. And what you want to make sure is that it says line based. You can only utilize this if it says line based. But literally any GPU from even over a decade ago should be totally fine with this. It says you know line based MSI. And what you want to make sure is that the MSI mode is actually enabled. And then you go under interrupt priority and actually put it to high guys. This is exactly what you want to set up. This is super super important trust me. This is provide you with a lot more stable performance and lower latency in all of your favorite games because the MSI mode is so much faster than the normal. 1. How basically your GPU and your CP are communicating. You definitely want to make sure to apply this one and here. click on apply real quick. And it's already done you good to go. And we can already close this to here. And then last but not we're least. We're going to open up the mouse OC tool. I just call it like this. Because you can basically sort of overclock. Actually your peripherals. And what you want to make sure from here is again. Click on the following link. Go on the code and then click on the download. And once you get it. We're actually going to open up now here heaters. Yes. And then you gotta. Click under setup. And once you actually launch. Now heaters be. This yes. is exactly how it should look you like. You gotta go under device And make sure to select all of them. And what it can basically do. Let's just say as an example. That you get a brand new mouse and keyboard set. And for whatever reason. They're not set to 1000 Hz. Just to put it in perspective. Sometimes. You can even buy keyboards or mice on the market. Which are only set to 125 Hz. Which is 7 milliseconds slower than something like 1000 Hz. And this is exactly what you want to achieve guys. You can basically overclock any components. To make sure that they're as responsive and fast as possible. What you can do now from here is guys. If you have the same issue as me. That you may be using a custom keyboard. It's not gonna directly say something like Razer. Keyboard Steel Series Keyboard. Logitech all of that. Kinda have to click through it. And try to figure out exactly which one is your keyboard. So I'm just gonna go here. Now over to keyboard. And then I have three different selections. What you wanna make sure is basically. Click on the first one then click on the restart. And once you realize if you press your Windows key. Okay I can still use it. So I know this one is actually not my keyboard. Let's try the second one I press the Windows key. I can still use it so I know okay. The second one is also not my keyboard. So theoretically the fat one has to be my keyboard. Now I'm not gonna do it. Since I already set it to 1000 Like hertz. I know This one here specifically is my custom keyboard So What you wanna do is make sure to select the one way And kinda know okay this is gonna be my keyboard Because we tried out all the other ones And then you get it set actually The rate to 1000 Hz guys Then you gonna go under in cell service real quick Then under restart and then You should see real quick That your keyboard is gonna light up And now you know Once you actually close it and reset your PC Your keyboard is set to 1000 Hz pulling rate Which is gonna make it so much faster than maybe 125 or 500 if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a and like. And don't forget to check out the two which videos. Which are right now on screen as well.